played Letterman last night. It was freaking cool as hell in a lot of ways. Um, it was cold inside. <laughs> it was probably about like this, maybe. <laughs> um, Craig and I were lucky enough to have done it a few times. We used to play with Harry Connick Jr. So seeing the inside, it's always exciting though when you walk in, no matter what, you know. And to get to do this with with this with Bonarama was was just tremendous. Uh, we went in early. We went in like eight in the morning. Uh, loaded in stuff with the with the crew and nobody, not too many people were there. Just the crew guys and union people and stuff. And it was uh, it was it was a long day. But we got got the gear set up early. Got the stage kind of placed and everything. And um, and then uh, man, we were there for like four hours just kind of doing that. And line checked, sound checked. Took a little break. Got the full band back over. Everyone came over what like two o'clock. Two, two, yeah, two. Two o'clock, and then we started rehearsing with the cameras. Um, what and, was Dave uh, like? Dave doesn't come out during the rehearsal. He only comes out during the show, and it was kind of funny because they told the tuba player, "If Dave looks you in the eye, don't look, don't look back at him in the eye. You know, don't don't make eye contact with Dave." It was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> The music is always last, so we go out a few minutes before it's our time to go out. We get in place, and Paul Schaefer and his band is playing the commercial break. And what did they say? <laughs> first thing they say, you know, they got you upstairs in the dressing room, first of all. Like, you're on the sixth floor, like, kind of far away. You're watching it as it's happening way down there. You can't see it down there. You're watching it on a TV screen. So you're kind of like, wow, this is David Letterman's show, but it's like just happening, like right down there. So we're about to we're about to be the musical guests. It's pretty exciting. Then they, yeah, they bring you down, brought us down during a commercial break, and they bring us on stage. They're like, don't check your horns, don't play anything, don't make a sound, don't do anything. I'm like, so I'm telling everybody one by one, one by one, y'all, yeah, you know, don't play, don't play. Like by the time I got to the seventh person, then the, my man's saying, all right, yeah, y'all come in, y'all join in with Paul Schaefer. <laughs> We're like, so I'll go back, I was like, never mind, play, now play. And they're like, no, you said don't play. I was like, no, no, play, play, play. So we played, we didn't even, I don't even know what song, what was it? What it was Pick Up the Pieces oh, up or pieces. something. We just, we, we were just jamming. Next thing you know, in. I mean, geez. the Paul Schaefer, his band drops out <laughs> and we're playing the, the thing, and Paul's in front of us going, counting down to when he's going to give us the cutoff. And I look over, and these guys are not playing, and it's just us, and I'm thinking, are we playing this commercial teaser into the uh, thing? We had no idea when they were, like, coming back in, if it was going to be aired or whatever. I mean, well, it was cool. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. The guys in the band were digging it. It was, it was, yeah. it was, a lot, it was actually a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. He's got a good band. Uh, Tom Bones Malone, trombone player. Yeah. Famous from uh, Murph and the Magic Tones, from uh, <laughs> from the Blues Brothers movie, Big Hero of Ours, and I uh, got to meet him and talk to him. We, we've known Tom for a little while, but uh, it was it's cool. It was, it was... What's it like walking out that backstage door? <laughs> I don't think there was anybody there. Well, we sent the decoys <laughs> ahead of us to, to really get the paparazzi <laughs> off of our trail. Yeah, and it, it worked. It did work. Yeah, uh, it did work. <laughs> it was fun, but coming out coming out is fun though. I mean, I mean. You know, it was surreal coming from the commercial break when we were sort of playing with Paul Schaefer's band. Uh, then Paul cut us off, and I guess you know, I'm like, well, I guess we're on, you know. And then I kind of look over there, and basically, like, just seven feet away, it's so close to him. And there's Dave right there, and like, he's about to introduce, he's about to introduce the band. And I, I couldn't even look at him. I was at that point, I was like, it's kind of like, man, if, I, if I'm gonna get all caught up in the moment if I keep looking at Dave. So I just looked at the floor, you know. We played. It was pretty exciting. I mean, it's nice because there was an audience there. You can kind of interact with them somewhat too. You know, in the sound check, all you're looking at is cameras and directors that are like, you know, are people that are just not really. Um, Let's see. Was that three minutes and 28 seconds yeah. exactly? So it was kind of it was nice to interact with humans. You know, yeah. for the for the real show, people fired up. And stuff. Which is what we do the best. <laughs>